This morning, Alex Dorsonville looking healthy and confident, making her first public statement after being freed by a notorious Haitian gang, kidnapping and holding her and her daughter in late July for nearly two weeks. Her message to her captors, no hard feelings. I want you to know that I hold no grudges against you in my heart. That doesn't mean that I agree with what you are doing, especially what you are doing against your own Haitian brothers and sisters. Dorsonville posting her statement on the website El Roy, the nonprofit the New Hampshire nurse and mother was working for at the time of her kidnapping. Despite what happened to me, my love for you all, my love for Haiti has not changed or gone away. Her captivity became an international cause after her kidnappers demanded a ransom. Gangs have been an issue in Haiti for decades, only intensifying after the assassination of the country's president in 2021. The U.N. says some 1,500 people were killed in Haiti in just the first four months of this year. Dorsonville says if not for the healing she still needs to do, she'd already be back serving. <laughs> If it were uniquely my decision, I'd be working in the clinic today, but I know that I've undergone a lot of trauma, emotional trauma, and I need to take some time to heal. There were reports the ransom demand for Dorsonville was for $1 million. It's not clear if it was paid or not to secure her and her daughter's release. Derek Dennis, ABC News, New York.